welcome Monkey Pinata here with some more FNM. And we are here with Tanaka the Genius playing my old mono red deck. A uh, link will be in the description for that video. And I'm sorry if I kind of sound, my voice is really deep right now. Uh, like, not feeling very well. And my throat is, like, really congested. But we'll keep this hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Because <coughs> allergies. And I hope that the audio on the last video I made was decent. And I hope to keep it that way with this one. So I hope you can hear me. Okay, so we started out with this Foundry Street Dinner. Then whenever I play a red card, uh, and when I red creature card under my control enters the battlefield, I get this creature gets plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. And we have active trees in our hand, gain control of a target creature until the end of the turn. Untap that creature and against haste. And this other person's playing very slowly, and so will I for a couple of turns. And we got Bolt of some gum, some guy, I don't know. Karanos. I assume deal 3 damage to a target creature player, and I get to scry one. Scrying is look at the top card of my deck, and either put it on the top or bottom of my deck. Voxlide Elemental has first strike. It's a 1 1. Whenever another creature dies, you put a 1 1 counter on this card. And that's probably the card we're going to play this turn, because this will get plus. Uh, one plus O because of its thing, and I guess voyage voyage is ended, and I'm kind of fine with that. This still pops, so we'll swing for two this turn. And yeah, um, then pitch burn devils to three three. Whenever it dies, I get to do three damage to a creature or player. A little run down on my hand there. And is he just going to play a complete counter? If he taps out, okay, he's going to play Void Snare. He's going to send this back to my hand. Says so here, Half Light. Uh, it's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever I cast a spell that targets this creature, it's a plus one, plus one counter. So that's good for things in this deck like, um, uh, I forgot, Lightning Talons. I think that's what the card's called. And we'll just play this, because I don't, I mean, it doesn't really matter what main, but what phase I play it on, because I'm not going to be able to attack. <coughs> and as you've seen, uh, Sunburnt Ace is starting to record again, and he promised that he was going to upload three videos a week. That's honestly ridiculous in my, uh, my, uh, my mind. But, you know, I guess he's going to try to do it. So we have access to five mana this turn, so this costs three. This costs one. And we'll have one floating around in space. So we will play that. We could play... This is a sorcery. These are both sorceries, so it doesn't really matter. So we can just play this before combat because I would like to get the plus one plus O for that. And it doesn't look like he's going to counter it. Or he's not at his computer. Either one. It's fine with me. <coughs> I'm going to swing in his face for three. Bring him down to 14 here. And pass his turn. He's running red blue. So he's waiting on a red mana there. So he has this Kiln Fiend right here. Whenever he casts a sorcery, this gets plus 3, plus 0 until the end of the turn. He's going to use the Void Snare to return this non-land permanent back to my hand with Void Snare. I get Active Treason, which is a very good card to have right now. So what we could do is we could take control of that and play a creature. And it'll gain haste. Just going to get a little bit more damage, though. 
and no, uh, I might add that it, I probably should have just Void of Karanos it, and then this would have been given a plus one plus one counter, and I wasn't thinking. So that's probably what I should have done. That goes back to his thing, and I could block with this, but I probably won't because I'm at 20, he's at 10. <coughs> and he's going to play Burning and Quarry. Each player discards their hand and draws. Wait, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go back and read that. Discards three random cards and then. Uh, wait, draws three cards and then draw, discards three random. And he's going to make his creature unblockable. So this card is right here. So it's going to be a 10 2. A 13 2. Dang, to burst. I'm gonna have to block that. Oh, it's unblockable. Whoops. Ooh, that was a lot of damage in one one go. Ooh. Um, do I have the win? This costs three. This costs three. So I put this on here. It gets four, five, six, seven. Oh, I don't have the win. Flying here. This costs five. I think I'm going to do this. We're going to give this plus three plus O. I mean plus three plus one. Yeah, plus three plus O. Oh, what am I talking about? Oh, lag there. Lightning Talons gets plus three plus O and first strike until the in oh, is an equipment. So until it dies. I'm gonna put another creature out to give this some bulkiness to it. We're just going to attack with everything here. <coughs> I'm going to show you in my hand Stormbirth Dragon, Flying Haste, protection from white. 4-4. Uh, four, four. Nice card with Monstrosity 3. I get to pay 7 mana to deal damage equal to the number of cards in uh, the opponent's hand. Is he going to do that bursty thing again and kill me? He is going to do that bursty thing again and kill me. Good job. Good job. GG. Like, that is a really good, really good tactic there. So I did end up losing, and he was replaced by an AI for some reason. So, short video here. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy uh, FNM and other things. Uh, don't forget to check out my other videos. I uh, uploaded an FTL the other day. And um, some Bernays, he uploaded a Starbound. So go and watch that. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.